Morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about this. This is the Current Body LED Eye Mask that I was so excited about when I come and showed you a video and I said I would come back and take pictures at two months and see what it looked like but I wasn't really expecting to see much um, and if there wasn't anything I'd carry on using it and take pictures at three or four months. Um, so I've done the pictures and I was pretty amazed. Um, I wasn't, I haven't seen any difference in the hooding of my eyes excuse me, or the kind of crinkliness of my eyelids. But I have seen a difference in my crow's feet that I'm like, I'm really, I'm really anxious to get the photos right for these type of videos because people before have said, oh, the lighting's different in that one and not that one. And I do try and match up the lighting of the pictures. It's not so easy. For example, I've changed to LED lights where there will have been a time I was using the overhead lights and I can't remember exactly what dates I changed. I'll have changed my room around and the, the camera will be in a different position, the light outside is different, you know, um, but I try to make them as similar as possible. But even with these, I was looking at them going, my eyes look so much better in the second picture and I was like, so let me, instead of matching the darker one to the lighter one, I'll match the lighter one to the darker one and I had a look at them and I was like, nope, they still look better. And then I found, um, I got two videos, I do occasionally just take a video of me just sitting with my eyes, you know, kind of blinking to see if I can match anything from that. That was more for the hooding, actually. Anyway, I did find a video of before and I did another video and compared the videos to see do, does it look as good. So I've got all that to show you today in before and afters. But like I said, I do think there's been a difference in my crow's feet. There's been a difference in my crow's feet without makeup. Um, I haven't looked at what it looks like with makeup, whether it looks better with makeup or not. Um, because I feel like I've noticed my crow's feet more when I've got makeup on, but that, again, that could be to do with different concealers that I'm using. Um, but anyway, let me show you. Okay, so this is the first picture. Um, so the, in case I forget to label them, the top one is the before, the bottom one is the after. <laughs> um, and this is the first one I looked at and I was like, okay, so the hooding doesn't look much difference, different. I feel like my eyelids look the same in the bottom one maybe even slightly worse the the my right eye so the one on the left that we're, we're looking at looks about the same i would say but perhaps the one on the right maybe looks a tad worse which you would expect with the passage of time um the only thing i can potentially see looking at this is in my right eye so again the one we're looking at on the left in the very corner it does look like it might have like Ti a tiny amount of lifting like just in the very corner where that um that fold of skin is you know anyway so that's hooded eyes like i said i i don't see much of a difference in the hooding but in the crow's feet i i see a lot of difference a lot of difference and i was looking thinking why is that you know that it's incredible really so you've got they just look softer on the bottom ones and i've looked at the big the big photos like obviously i've chopped them down to the eyes um cropped them but i had a look at the big photo to make sure that they weren't like fuzzy or you know wasn't using a particular camera angle or anything like that um, and you can see the details in them you know if i make them more defined or whatever but this this is the difference and and i think it just looks the crow's feet have softened so much on the second picture so because i was so doubtful of of how this was working you know of whether that picture was right or not i thought let me lighten it up and match it too because one of them was darker you know like i said i matched the colors in them and so i thought let me match the lighter ones and have a look so this is the same picture but lightened up and i thought that might because light can make things look blurrier you know the i sometimes i think look nicer when i watch videos back because of the lighting the lighting can make you look you know a bright light can make you look much nicer and can make things look sort of softer so i thought let me have a look at this and see if they then look softer in both pictures but I think I think it's you can still see a massive difference from the top one and the bottom one let's have a look if I put the other photo in I don't know whether I'll be able to fit it on your screen but I don't I don't even think they look better from darker to lighter to be honest in the before picture but yeah I, they still to me look like they've softened a lot there's one under my eye on the top picture. You, you can actually see that it, it, in the top picture, I had a bit of black 
makeup that I'd not got off completely and so you can see that and that line has softened in the bottom then you can see a kind of longer line underneath that and in the again in the bottom one it's just it's softened that that I think is the major difference that's me looking at my left eye so on our right as we're looking at it and then on my right eye you can see those two main long lines and even the little the little tiny one underneath the right eye I can't actually see it on the bottom picture Finally, let's have a look at the video. Now the video, I don't think the lighting is exactly matched because you can tell my eyes look a little bit of a different color in the top one. Um, so you might be able to allow for that. I couldn't get it to the perfect color. If I, if I lighten it anymore, it just doesn't look normal, you know. Um, but I think everything just looks better in the second picture. Everything looks softer. You can see that the, the crow's feet have diminished. So I was, and I look less tired actually in the second picture, you know, I think even the hoods look slightly better in, in this video than they do in the pictures. I'm just gonna try and do a quick, I'm gonna have a look and see if I can find a picture, right? TikTok browse. I'm gonna get that TikTok browse icon and then I'm gonna take one. So what are we now, June? So May, April, let's take one from March. But I need to be sort of the same sort of smiling yeah, I think that's the same. I haven't, the problem is with the makeup photos, I'm always smiling and there's different levels of, of smiling, if you know what I mean. Um, but I'm looking at the TikTok one versus um, a sunscreen one that I did back in March. They are ever so slightly improved because I'm looking at the right eye and there's actually, where I'm smiling, there's two crinkles in the corner of the right eye and there's actually only one in the after picture on my right eye. Let's have a look at the left eye. one two one two yeah you know i think there is a slight difference there not very much but there is a slight difference there yeah interesting so it does look a little bit different with makeup it's just that i haven't been noticing it you know looking in the mirror i've, I've been feeling very very old i feel like i sort of i remember this happened to my mum i feel like i aged overnight like i literally felt like suddenly my hair wasn't right my skin wasn't right I didn't feel right you know it's just like all of a sudden I didn't feel any kind of young <laughs> you know and I think up until sort of my late 40s I, I still felt in my 30s but now it's almost like yeah I feel 50 you know um anyway so I have been using this more or less every night um I think I've missed probably two nights in the last couple of months um, and I don't actually think that the instructions are that you, you continue using it every night I think you only have to use it a couple of times a week for maintenance but I'm quite happy to use it every night um, I do not use any goggles with this um, I just put it on whilst I'm watching TV or whatever it's so quick um, I've had to charge this about every three or four days something like that so that's not too bad at all because some of these LED ones need charging a lot like the hand one that I used needed charging every day and I would put it on charge and then forget to use it you know because it wasn't out um, it's only I think is it three minutes I think it's three minutes I just it's it's so quick it's so quick and easy to do it's so comfortable I haven't had any issues with any irritation from this um, but one person did say to me do you think maybe if you closed your eyes you'd get more um, effect on my on my hooded eyes and, and maybe I would I guess if you close your eyes it's going to be going directly to that skin it should be able to penetrate that anyway with my eyes open but yeah that's a possibility so I might well try doing that you know try lying down and just taking a three minute break and closing my eyes but I am really really chuffed with this so I have a discount code for you um I think it is 15% so I will put the discount code in the description in case you are interested uh, this I would say is the most easiest one I've used out of all of you know the face ones um the the neck one all of them this is the one that i've i feel like i've seen it's not the most effective because the face one i did definitely get a lift on my face you know my face definitely looked more looked healthier after using it but this one i've seen the biggest results in terms of the crow's feet i think um and it's definitely the easiest because like i said you plop it on you can walk around there's no trailing wires or anything it's the quickest um so yeah totally recommend that let me know if you've tried it because i know a couple of you were going to buy it actually when it came out um and somebody asked me if it was good for lips but there is actually a lip one coming out um so keep your eyes peeled for that one 
Um, and if you have bought it, let me know how you've got on with it, if you've seen any, any differences at all. And I will speak to you again soon.